Welcome back to the channel. So today I thought an interesting follow-on from my other video where I carved this from a really bright piece of rough is to talk about the effect of lighting on a lot of these opals. Because you see a lot of pictures when people are selling stuff online and you don't really know how to trust it or not if you're not really experienced with it. So I just wanted to show what people can get away with doing when it comes to saying there's been no photoshopping or anything like that because just simple lighting changes can make a huge difference to the same stone. So I'll show this same opal under various conditions including a daylight LED, a cool white LED, some overhead fluorescent tubes and also some different lighting conditions outside. So hopefully that'll give you guys a bit more of an idea of how drastically different a gem like this can turn out because opal's just a bit different to other things like diamond and sapphire and whatnot where it can be fairly standard across different lighting conditions but opal's definitely not so yeah hopefully it helps some people and we'll get right into it so this is what the opal looks like directly under the daylight LED. You can see that there's a lot of the blues and greens coming through. The red comes through every now and then, but it really highlights a lot of the blue, blue and green, apart from on certain angles where the red shines through. And the other side, once again, you're getting quite an even mix, but the dominant color is green. That's the daylight LED right under a cool white LED. So here you can see you get a lot of the colors once again, but that blue really dominates at times. So it does tend to pick up the blue if there's any in there. And the red fights its way back in certain angles, but there you see it again, huge amount of blue. And this is under the cool white LED lamp. Now we're directly under a overhead ceiling fluorescent tube light and you can see that there's a lot more of that red that comes through on this side. If I give it a flip over, Still a lot of that red speckles through and a little bit of that blue green comes through again. So very different to the behavior under a LED daylight lamp or the cool white LED which both brought out a lot more blue than it did the red. Outdoors but under full sun conditions and you can see that the opal seems a little bit washed out some of the colors are really vibrant but things like the reds just aren't showing up at all so sometimes direct sunlight is a bit too much and a little bit too harsh now outdoors so natural daylight, it's a fairly overcast day and we've got a lot more of the colours coming out in general. The focus isn't maintaining itself though, that's a camera issue more than anything. But yeah you can see that it gets the full range, much better representation of how the opal looks to my eye. Get the full range of colours. Alright, so that was a few different lighting conditions, the most common ones anyway. And I'm hoping that you could see the difference and my camera picked it up well enough. 
If not, I might try again in the future with a better camera, but yeah, for now that's about as good as I can do. So hopefully it gives you enough of an idea to at least have in the back of your mind that different lighting conditions can drastically change the effect you see on an opal. I mean, just here I'm just waving my hand over the light source and you can see how dramatically it can change without doing any kind of photoshopping. So yeah, light plays a really important role in a gemstone like opal. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully I helped you out a little bit there and I'll see you in the next video.